This film was a crazy ride. I was feeling excited, cringe, happy, frustrated, emotional, angry. But I would not say it's a bad film. Actually, if you think about your teenage years, these are the feelings you'll have. And that's what this film carries. Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and today we're talking about the latest Tamil film which released on Z5 called Mudal Ni Mudivam Ni. It's written and directed by the debutant Darbu Kasiva. I just want to state that these are my personal opinions. For you, this may be a great film, you connected with it, you enjoyed it a lot, but I have different opinions about it and you certainly don't have to agree on it. Definitely, it's not a perfect film, it's far from it. It captures the innocence and the vibe of the teenage life really well. Now, for me, the treatment of the film was too inconsistent. There are some absurd screenplay moments that just breaks my connection to the film. The film is little too predictable for my liking. It talks about a lot of things, a lot of social issues, but it just keeps it too surface level which actually makes it an injustice to the topic and at moments it's just too preachy in your face i definitely appreciate that attempt but as a film it didn't work with me now because of certain scenes acting also suffers sorry to say some of the dialogues were really cringe for me and by the interval i felt like discontinuing but something happens at the midpoint which just brings me back which made me excited to watch the film till the end the music is really good technical wise also it is an indie film and in that regards it does a good job definitely the ending of the film is predictable and something which i personally disagree to i'll not count this as a flaw this is my personal opinion but i don't agree with the message the film is delivering at the end you also have to remember you know this is a film which if you relate you're gonna enjoy a lot but if you don't which did happen to me it will not work at that emotional level now that was my non-spoiler review if you haven't seen the movie go watch it and come back now comment to the spoiler I love that they took a time jump in the movie. That was so interesting. And I was literally shell shocked. It took me like 20 30 minutes to understand these are the same actors who portrayed the younger version and now portraying the elder versions. I was blown away by it. It is one of the best, you know, transformation I've seen in films. Previously, if I remember, I would say Harry Potter, the last scene in the last film where we see all of her characters aged, which was done really, really well. And seeing, you know, the grown up versions of these characters makes me excited, you know, made me watch the film till the end. And I feel in the second half, the actors got to shine more. We got to see the real world problems these characters face, which of course many of us face in real life so automatically you connect to the characters now coming to the big breakup scene in the film i was not a fan of it at all from the treatment to the dialogues the way it was shot nothing worked for me it felt like a tv soap opera and i'm not trying to you know insult anyone it's easy to sit in front of camera and just talk about film then to make a film but this is my constructive criticism you can take it however you want to i actually saw that coming from the start of the film from the moment that girl was introduced and all of that happened so ordinarily so inorganically like you know it didn't work for me at all and honestly you know the fight they have you can kind of relate it to ross and rachel from friends if you have seen it and if you actually wonder who was right you can you know debate from both the sides and i have my own arguments for it and that is also reason you know the dialogues they had at that moment did I, I couldn't agree with that it actually felt stupid to me but you know these are teenagers they make stupid mistakes i totally get it now the concept of the cupid was okay i was not a big fan of how it was used at the end and at the end you know the resolution is oh i'll take you back now you can you know change things in your life and everyone is happy all the other characters also did well in their lives and the cupid actually says also at the end that i met all of them at one point so i understand you know the film is trying to give a hopeful message at hopeless times like this i totally get it i appreciate that effort it is the need of the hour but i don't believe in that philosophy i believe to be more practical in life even with the lovers not coming together at the end that is life move on i personally believe it was not his mistake why they had a breakup she should have been more trustful of him and if you don't have that basic trust it was never gonna work so it's better to move on with your life again the message of the film is that you know people in your life are more important than your ambitions and goals which i partly agree to but if they are stopping you from achieving your dreams and goals if the relationship doesn't work again all of this are my personal thoughts i don't blame the movie and say the movie is bad because of that you know i have many other reasons because of which i didn't enjoy that movie that much and honestly making a debut film this was a great attempt definitely the film has connected to many people so that's an achievement in itself and i'm looking forward to more through channel membership, you can support this channel and help me continue this journey ahead. And in turn, you get various perks. To know more, click on the join button. For more information, check out the community page. So guys, that was the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. Share this video in the comments, your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out the videos. If you like them too, do subscribing and I'll see you next time.